welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series so you see last video you was yammer and we were when we were doing the content and security and it i think it was the data retention tab that this had um, sharepoint and sharepoint is about uh, external uh, sorry internal websites and uh, libraries and all that <coughs> so let's find out where exactly is sharepoint and can let's look all we can do in sharepoint all admin center for aslan oh okay this is for aslan i was like what happened here aslan is a teams or exchange but anyway i need to exit out of aslan yes close all Let's go to our this who's this this should be Ali okay now I ha now I have mine let's ex exit out of y um, Yammer and uh, SharePoint right there so b SharePoint being here means that it's going to stay and it's still an important thing <coughs> So new SharePoint admin center we can open the new SharePoint admin center so the new interface which is more like uh, in compliance with the rest of uh, Office 365 so it says SharePoint file activity report that is zero it's saying what's happening here active sites I don't have site this is the first time I'm launching it service health online service health is healthy i think i showed you in one of the video how to check the service health so this is that view all services brings us to oh all service health okay uh, right now there are two advisories for exchange hmm can't create new calendar events can't access governance and compliance data so and it has been presented October 16th Wow hmm cool so this how this is how like everything is being managed by Microsoft you this is good for companies they don't have to worry about any of this it's everything Microsoft has to manage so these are quite uh, <coughs> the tabs here we're gonna go one by one with them so we are at the home SharePoint site user report we can click on details and see what details we have um, I'm okay so it's giving me a SharePoint site address and I have I I'm pretty sure <coughs> That they are automatically created by office 365 cause <coughs> let's uh, really see what's going on cause i never created them this is the first time i'm logging in but i do remember this email address this is that we created a group so it looks like when you created the group that site was created automatically Let's see if I can go to that website. Open link in new new tab. <clears throat> All right, so IT private group. It has the links, and I'm pretty sure like yep, there's the edit button, so you can add it and do things here, site contents and all that. So it's just like you have to know. <coughs> how to do that we're gonna like oh it's, it's still loading created in three days ago I created that IT three days ago three days ago I was either in Yammer or in teams probably in teams so I'm gonna go and check there later on 
so this chart or this was created on Monday La oh no that's last activity so this was sh this should be the very first one this is desktop support group I created this is another website local new tab sale 6671 I never created that sales 671 does not ring a bell sales yes 671 what's 671 <coughs> so there's things what's the kind of storage is being used here this is the portal hub all that search website search is probably Microsoft Bing's powered like you can search your internal website and this is the community portal site current <coughs> so it looks like these uh, URLs are automatically created by the uh, SharePoint all of the layout seems to be the same so you actually have to know how to edit it and better <coughs> um, you know um, serve your purpose so like I said since it's an internal website so somebody is managing them uh, it could be you the admin or it could be somebody from that team that it is for for example sales guys they come up and they give you the data oh, hey we want it to be like this uh, for example at <coughs> the reason I keep saying equipment library uh, uh, spectrum they have like um, uh, uh, devices uh, I, I believe dozens of them different models different uh, modems or maybe hundreds of them uh, not only just uh, cable modem uh, you have cable boxes as well so you see you need a website that lists all of them and then you need each uh, models individual page as well which lists their specification and all that La just like there is a great website for cell phone like GSM arena or there's another website DSL something that lists the details so it's like that but for internal purpose let's close them out next we have is message center is just messages about your uh, ongoing thing uh, um, about the SharePoint file activity report should be zero uh, unless it's saved from the emails only one file so all the users are here and I believe they are the same user those those have the office 365 uh, license okay let's go back to the admin center close this out we're gonna go with the sites like what's in sites active sites so these are my active sites oh I have a lot more here nothing here page views like how many page uh, how many uh, the how a page views basically counts uh, how many pages of a particular site is been viewed so it will combine one so if this is one page just one page then it will tell you hey it has been viewed this many times but it has like external links and all that they will be listed and so you see this is the IT group owner primary domain communication site so this seems to be my uh, main site oh yeah I'll look at that wow so you can like click at it and start customizing everything what do you want page details saves a drop <coughs> so since our aim is not to edit the page itself but to visit the backends so for admin they just gonna create these sites <coughs> So I have 1.24 terabyte for sites and there is a create a web page I can create a site give it a um, <clears throat> it's a team site or communication site the difference between would be share document have conversation with your team keep track of events manage tasks and connect it to an office 365 group the other one is a communication site basically is like a new site where you post updates publish dynamic beautiful content to people in your organization keep them informed and engage in <coughs> on topics event or projects 
so basically it will be like hey we are releasing this new service this new device this new screen or we are going to host this party or manage this event blah 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 other options create a new team site without an office 360 traffic group or document center <clears throat> it could be a wiki it could be a publishing portal or project web app site <clears throat> so there are other options as well same thing site name your primary administrator who is going to be the admin of that website like i said you are only going to create this site you are not going to be managing them as in content management it needs to be done by the team itself <clears throat> communication site again you will create it and give it give somebody else control of it and they will be posting for example if it's a uh, about this site uh, news updates about the internal like what what we are, what way we are moving forward what device we are launching so it should it not going to be a office 365 admin it will be somebody in the corporate or executive so <clears throat> let's go back and then team site if it's like a team they are managing their own little site and those those they will be <coughs> using this to share files and all that they yes in theory they can do also as well in the team the Microsoft teams as well but it's a website and not a social network so I think that's the only difference here let's open this URL and this URL is the more like the first one we saw and not this uh, uh, really dynamic uh, main site but it's a, again it's a communication site and it's not a uh, more like a website so it's like just um, uh, basically these flashy pictures they will um, take you to some probably something uh, more a page that looks like this one so this is the active sites what are the deleted sites okay so whatever you delete will be transferred here so if I were to delete um, sales 67 I don't like it I don't know why 671 is there maybe I'm forgetting so if I delete it ah there could be a group 671 uh, let me see is the only person can do it, maybe my son he <coughs> might have created no be I don't know let's see so on the lease it says the site belongs to an office 365 group deleting the site will delete the group and all its resources including the outlook mailbox and calendar in any team channel you will have 30 days to restore this group so once you delete it it's gonna be under here to recover to recover but past 30 days it will be permanently gone or you can permanently delete it if you want it gone uh, right away <coughs> there are two options create or export export might be again CSV file pretty popular but what option we have if we want to uh, so we can edit the owner change group owner so who is the owner right now ah I created some some time ago maybe I wish there was a like way of knowing when created January 4th still not ringing a bell just four days ago I created this page or group or whatever and I have no idea why I put 671 there the next thing we have is hub so basically hub is like uh, it shoots more <coughs> side within a site like it it has portals inside portals basically a website which has different portals in it so it's either a part of hub or it's a hub site and there will be more uh, associated hub within <coughs> or associated with hub if there is a hub already you can select a hub and associate it with it or you can register it as a hub site you can <coughs> people who can associate it associate sites with this hub so if you can put like Ali so Ali if he has a site he's a site owner or something he can associate it his site to sales like it's sales and then there's an inbound sale and outbound sale so Ali is the admin of inbound and Aslan is the admin of out uh, 
yeah Ali is for the inbound or as Aslan is for outbound they if I allow them uh, in that they they can associate their sites within sales so it will be uh, sites within sites and it will it's hierarchical so that's the sites in there and then I'm gonna cut this video here wrap it up and we're gonna see the policies in the next video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and you have a good night